Here in this video, we will showcase the strange and unique origins, biology and life cycle of the sandworms from the Dune universe, the Shai Hulud of Arrakis. So without any further ado, please subscribe and if you already have, then let's get on with this monster content. The sandworms of Dune, also known as the Shai Hulud, are a species of gigantic worm-like organisms that are autotrophic, meaning that they make their own food and do not depend on other life forms for nutrition. They are central to the Dune universe as they are the ones that produce the highly sought after the Spice Melange, which is an awareness spectrum narcotic that allows people to navigate faster than light travel across the universe. The sandworms are found in the planet Arrakis alone, but they did not originate from there. The origins of the species is unknown, but were introduced to the planet in the past and thrived there transforming the world's ecosystem to their own needs. The sandworms are creatures of gigantic proportions, with the largest ones reported to be around 450 meters long, with rumors of specimens over 700 meters or up to even a kilometer believed to exist in the southern regions of the planet. They are long cylindrical in shape, with a mouth that have three lips and open up to the interior of hundreds of teeth-like protrusions. Their skin is rough, thick and orange in hue, made up of several scales, each measuring up to a few feet in length. The armor formed by these scales overlap and interlock to defend it from internal sand invasion. Because studying these organisms is difficult, little was previously known about the wild sandworms. The sandworm was said to have an extremely long lifespan, estimated to be in the thousands of years. As I said before, the creatures do not prey on any other species but seem to make their own food. The main component of the sandworm's diet was sand and other inorganic and dry components of the arrakis crust. Although it is also believed that they sometimes sift a microbic sand plankton for nourishment. Uh, one thing that is strange for this monster worm is that water was fatal to one even in small doses. Water that entered a sandworm's body would act as a catalyst to accelerate its metabolism to the point that it becomes unstable and its vital biological functions would fail. This would be a violent and presumably painful way to die for the sandworm which would be a loss for the spice trait as well. So let's talk about the life cycle. There are several transformational phases of the Shai Hulud, From the small microbic planktons to the larger sand trouts which are the ones in the defining stages of its life. The sand trouts uh, themselves go through various stages of development interacting with water pre-spice, etc. to eventually transform into a small sandworm that would grow over time, a long time, into the gigantic monster of Arrakis that are also worshipped by the Freeman cultures of that planet. These mature sandworms would then live on and create the spice melange. So let's get on to each of these different stages in detail. The first phase, the sand plankton. Although it is not officially stated, the sand plankton are believed to be the life forms that would eventually grow into sand trouts. They are generated by the sandworms themselves and or the spice melange produced from the death or the destruction of one. Their relation to the sandworms are a bit confusing in a way since they also provide extra nourishment to the big dudes. So this initial stage is still in the clouds since there are theories that they later on develop into sand trouts while other theories say that sand trouts come from eggs produced by major specimens of the sandworms. Anyway, let's get on to the second stage, the sand trouts. They are the larval forms of the sandworms on the planet Arrakis. They are described as resembling large freshwater leeches, amorphous blobs or slugs. These small leech-like creatures are the least hydrophobic as compared to other stages in their life cycle. In fact, the sand trouts together in large numbers encapsulate water found beneath the sand and eventually creates a paradise for its growth and development, a subterranean place devoid of water and absolutely dry. In fact, sand trouts in their huge numbers had the ability to terraform the entire planet into a vast desert by trapping large bodies of water, allowing the adults to survive as sandworms cannot survive in a waterlogged environment or even come into contact with moisture. The sand trouts are also the main ones responsible for creating the pre-spice mass, the emerging spice blows that would later transform into the spice melange by exposure to sun and air. The pre-spice mass was a wild organic growth 
which arose deep under the surface. The strange mixture or rather a culture was fungicide in nature and occurred when water is mixed with the excretions of the little maker, which is another name for the sand trout. The combination and fermentation process eventually creates a considerable pressure which forces the pre-spice mass to the surface of the planet as a spice blow. This would then become the melange as it changes in the presence of air which is oxidation and radiation from the sun. So when the spice blow occurs, a large number of these sand trouts die in the process while there are a certain amount of them that would eventually survive and these hardy ones would then go on into another stage in their life cycle. They would form cysts around them and go into a long hibernation. The spice melange might in fact be the catalyst for the formation of these cysts, kind of like cocoons of certain insects. Anyway, over a span of around 6 years, young juvenile sandworms would emerge from these cysts and tunnel their way down beneath the sands and grow over hundreds to thousands of years into the massive shy halud, the major adult specimens. And then the cycle would continue, the life cycle starting anew. Anyway, with that we come to the end of it, so do hit that like button for support and subscribe as well to be a part of the MindQ family. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.